Hello and welcome to a sneak preview of the Agre Balconies. That's probably a terrible, <laughs> probably really doing that disservice. The Agrares Balconies. Yeah, let's look, let's not try and put a lilt on something I don't quite understand. Yeah, so welcome. This is us going in. I have not even had a look myself. I always find, I, I always do things live because, yeah, both the good and the bad, you sort of see sort of straight away what is. So I'm taking you in there with me without having had a look at things straight away. Yeah, no, no poking around. This is me and you going in together. So let's have a look at the Agres Balconies by JN Gaming. Yeah, there is a history on why it's called CEX because my laptop was bought from the company CEX, just so you know why that actually appears like that. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the profile is that. Right. Guided tour, yeah, that is fine. Ooh, wow. Beautiful. Now there is one thing I'm going to say. This is um, the sum of the village. This is a sneak preview, so it isn't completely as is. It's like when um, Dagoin actually did um, Oxygen David's tour, and so there, please, I'm going to do my best. If it's terrible, as in like I plunge into an area that's awful, I'm going to cut that bit out. But as you can see, it is total total eye candy which is exactly what I would expect from JM Gaming having looked at this thing but the village is the thing the most so I'm not going to poke around too much right now no I'm not we're going to have a look on the map straight away oh wow we are as well Gordon Bennett that's gorgeous wow that, 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 wow. I, I did, I, <laughs> you know, I said I was going to be like uh, Dagoin. This is exactly what Dagoin was. He said he was speechless, and I've got to be honest. Yeah, I can see <laughs> what he felt when he first went round Garmston. Absolutely uh, beautiful. It truthfully is. Oh, wow. Glorious. Look at the detailing. It's beautiful. Right. <laughs> Let's get on with some farming. Let's have a look. Now, this is a new farmer start, truthfully. That is absolutely beautiful. And I love the, as Mr. CDP would say, the undulations. Absolutely glorious and gorgeous. Right, let's have a look at the map. Let's have a look at the screen. Ooh, now that, that is rather unique. Oh, wow. That, I don't think I've ever quite seen a layout like that. And I can see, what do we own? Oh, a very generous section up the top. I don't know with the field sizes because this this is me and you having a look together. Right, let's pop and see. Can we visit old silo five hundred k? Right. Oh, the French dove I recognise that anywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. Yes, yeah, so a new farm start. I haven't. I'm not going to muck around with my settings as I normally do because this is sort of like a sneak preview. So I'm not going to muck around with that because, as of right, let's first of all turn the time down because this is a tour. This is also having a look at the equipment that you get. That may change, of course. So don't quote. Ooh. Yeah, don't quote me on that. Truthfully. Wow. Oh, wow. The mosaic tiles. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is absolutely glorious. It truthfully is. Wow. And this is our house. <laughs> who would know? Who would know? I might not get any farming done. I might be <laughs> playing by the pool, if I'm honest. <laughs> yes. I might, I might hire lots of workers and let Corsplay get on with it all. Wink, wink. But yeah, this is... Uh, this is exactly what I would expect from Gem Gaming. That's, wow. Where to start, truthfully? <laughs> I mean, I could just look at all of the uh, features of the map. And bear in mind, I say, there may be some detail that is going to be changed. This is, yeah, the roof. Um, not, not that I'm saying I've seen anything at all. Oh, wow. Yeah, so one of my favourite features um, by GM Gaming on Rumbles Road was the... Beautiful ferns, I absolutely love those, and the butterflies. Oh, we have. Is that is that a butterfly? 
Oh, it is. Oh, I love that's That's one of the features I seriously love the most about Rombos Road. Yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. It's really captured the details. And that, that is amazing. It really is. <laughs> right, come on. We, we're here to do some farming. Oh, it looks like grapes. Oh, wow. Fantastic. And we have a little... Oh, a new Holland. Fantastic. Skid steer. We definitely, you definitely are featuring grapes. Ah, my one of my favourites, the Landini Rex. Beautiful, and oh, I do love these as well. Oh, it's the bigger Landini. Wow. And the class. And I believe is this the same as the Riverside one? Well, I think it's the slightly smaller one. We've got the monstrously large one on Riverside. So fantastic. Let's switch the engine off. We have a. Let's have a look on the. Um, yeah, we can see here, but there's often things that you can't quite see to begin with. So let's have a look, and we shall see. Oh, we have a trailer, Brander. I wonder if that is. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the equipment. Truthfully, what we've actually got, because I say it could be in a few different places, or no. I think what we've seen is actually what we've got, and the trailer is in different configurations as well. Ah, we've got two Brandners actually. So we're, there's one that we've not seen so far. That one has a max size of. Doesn't say. Okay, that's interesting. We have. Robo 6, 225 horsepower and we have small tractor the little Rex, but don't let its size fool you, it actually has got quite a powerful punch I used this on um, Horbelleron uh, originally and it was a bit of a it, yeah obviously it's weight wise you've got to be careful what you stick on it, I, I did actually make it do a nose dive a few times but yes, it's don't be fooled by its so we've got an wow that is now that is a bonus to have that right at the beginning it truly is also another thing i like to do is look at the sales on day one. Ooh. wow okay we made oh now the estrella i love that i would love to buy that i could never get it to work on rombos road yeah on the original series i bought the estrella i'd love to feature that although i don't think we've quite got anything of the power to actually pull that right right now this very minute and the roadrunner though now that seriously that we could tweak things a little bit because that doesn't that have the the rear hitch isn't it there are, yeah it does this is actually we could actually make this into a tractor yeah literally truthfully have this as a tractor we really could a beast of a tractor and then actually we could do something like that so yeah, we could. We may have to do a bit of tweaking because, yeah, obviously the, your money at the beginning is a little bit tight. Ah, it was me saying I couldn't see the other, the brand there. We've got the Joskin. So we we could do some tweaking, truthfully. Yeah, if we have to sacrifice something, I, I tell you what we could do. We could sacrifice the Torian. Let's see how much value that would be if we did such a thing. Do you know? Yeah, let's let's get on with actually looking at the map first. I think I, I think a bit of a map tour, truthfully, to begin with. I do. Let's go and survey our property. It is on 0.5. I've also done right there. Let's have a look. So field one to the left is showing a blue. So that's definitely ours over there. Let's have a look. Where do we get out? Here, by the look of it. So to the left of us. Is that an olive grove? I've never done olives, if I'm honest. But they certainly don't look like grapes to me. Yeah, they are definitely olives. Well, that, that is fantastic. So, it's, is it not a grape harvester then? I would presume from that that it is actually olives. Fantastic. Oh, no, that, that really does make my day because I haven't done olives at all. I have done grapes. I did it once on... Uh, as it crashes into one of the uh, olive trees and ruins his grove from at the very beginning. Yeah, so, ah, so actually, no, that is our, oh, is it ours? Yes, it is. Fantastic. So, olives. Right, okay, 103 and that little tiny bit at the top. 
so we have field one which has not got anything in we though it's done start from spring because I absolutely love start from spring I think it's more realistic and the, the, and also a little less yeah August starts you can actually get some planting done and see some results because it always starts you on the year game as year one but unfortunately you're right at the back end of the year yeah the years played one obviously you can see that, that you, this is just me and you on this from the very beginning with no trees planted no yeah no missions completed or anything so I, I wasn't fibbing when I said this was, I was coming in with yourselves let's have a glow I love this it's got some real texture in yeah we may have to do a bit of smoothing in places because some of this looks a little bit now this looks, I was actually driving through the Peak Districts yesterday, Peak District, and there were some fields that you thought, they got sheep on that you thought that's all that you could ever get on that. Due to, oh, we've got the recycling. I can see the green symbol on that car, so we're going to have some, a way of making a bit of money. Excellent. Oh, we have. Thank you, JM Gaming, which I shall bring that feature in on one of my first episodes. Especially if we're going to tweak, so I can bring in some uh, other equipment. Especially the uh, yeah, if we're going to bring in the tractor stroke truck, then I'm going to need that. So, uh, did we? Have, uh, is this this is our second? I think this is the second of the bigger fields that we've actually got. Yeah, and we've got four and three. So we're going to do a little bit of a tour of what we've got. And there's one I missed at the bottom, 101. So we're going to do a, a tour of the edge of our land. Because after all, that is where we're going to be working the most. And then I may do, yeah, a bit of a map tour. Yeah, truthfully. I love that detail on that. Uh, the bridge, that is fantastic. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, I'm on normal speed as well, for once. I'm not actually charging around at three times speed. Yeah. So let's, yeah, let's do that. A tour of our land first. Yeah, I'm not, not, not going to rush this. It is... Oh, I do love that. Mr. Silly P, you would love this. This has got real undulations. Absolutely has. Yeah, we may well, obviously this is um, one thing I will say, like on Rumbos Road, there was one field at the very beginning on, on that release that was a little bit rough, and that same is Riverside. Um, Mr. B also had to do some remodelling on the uh, change log for that. Oh, this is ours as well. Yeah, so we shall see whether the undulations are a little bit too much for the equipment. We shall, because we should be playing as is. Yeah, but I do like the reality. The realism, yeah, I do. I must admit, like Mr. Silly P, I do like. I mean, I was looking at a map earlier um, on the. Oh, what's that little building? On the mod hub, and uh, again, I mean, it's an American map, but it's as flat as a pancake. Ooh, wow. Look at that for detail. Is that not amazing? Truthfully, well, best shut it before we get into trouble says yeah wow trigger absolutely spot on detailing on that absolutely gorgeous anyway we best get back in the car before someone uh, grabs it because I've left the engine running wink wink <laughs> right right okay and some trees I would imagine they're on the, on the side of our land if we wish to do a little bit of forestry yeah we could actually uh, do that as a Gnarly tree as well. Is that one of the Erlingrat type trees? It looks like it that we first saw on Erlingrat. Some beautiful ones which they were on or Belleron. I recognise those. They were in our drive. And here we are going down. Yeah, this is our field as well on the left. Yeah. Field three. I love the, the beautiful shapes. Realistic. It is true. Now this is probably going <laughs> to cause me some issues with cosplay. I like the sizes. I've got to be honest. This is gorgeous. Yeah, Rombos was as I as I called it. It was a monster. It really was, and I don't mean that in a nasty, 
derogatory way, it, it, uh, I think it was actually a word that Jerome Gaiman used himself about Ron Boss. The, it was a monster, the fields were humongous. It was. I'm a, more of a small to medium meta player uh, than a... Uh, ooh, is that, no, it's not water. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Voice is going up a few on says It really shouldn't go that high. Calm down. <laughs> now then, I don't think. Yeah, I think where we're going now. This isn't ours, is it? Oh no, it is. Yeah, yeah. This is the that, that little bit that I said in the end of the olive the olive grove. So, wow. I love these adjoining things. Ah, this little bit of uh, tiny bit of forest here also is ours. So if we wish to do a little bit of serious forestry, we could. It's the odd gnarly tree there. And there's those... Oh, actually, I don't, don't think I've ever seen one of these before. No, no, that is definitely a unique to Jam Gaming. Or, or it's one that I haven't seen, as well as the beautiful flowers. Not saying that, that I've not seen those before, but yes. Amazing. Oh, wow. Absolutely fantastic. <laughs> anyway, yes, let's, let's crack on. Yeah, map tour, are we going to do... What is that in the distance? Is that more or less? Ah, uh, are we close to the back of the map? Let's let's not to roll off the. No, that is still. I think that more olives. Yeah, they are. I can see by the colour. They're colour purple. So let's go this way to the edge of our land, and I think then we're going to have a bit of a sneak sneaky preview. I say I may chop some if I see anything that obviously Jan Game wouldn't like us to have a look at. It's not quite finished. This is a yeah an early map. Uh, a sneak preview, you could say, definitely. Right, so, bridge. And this is a... Uh, I show this? I did, didn't I? Yeah, so we drove over this one. But look, I'm quite sure you can see the undulations on this are absolutely... Again, we shall see how equipment fares. That's the one thing I am going to say. We're going to do plenty now. Is it? Have we got any seed or a planter? We haven't. So we're going to have to. Yeah, we're going to have to do some jiggery pokery because a hundred thousand, as we all know, seriously doesn't go very far. So I'm trying to think. Yeah, it's this is going to be a challenge. We might well have to pull out something like the. Uh, the very reasonable case or um, John Deere <laughs> cedar. I suppose we've also got the option we could actually do a bit of logging to bring in some cash. Ah, I reckon. Oh, did you see that? Oh, wow. Best switch that off, but I'm not really worried at this minute. Where have you gone? Do you know this is they're so so shy. They were on rhombus as well. It loves showing the butterflies. They don't half go quickly. Yeah, they're a little bit shy, but they certainly are beautiful. Yeah, I was getting out because I was trying to show off the fact that there's a gate here. Now I've taken off all of the. That's a point. Let's put the let's put the triggers on for once because this is a map. Yeah, this is us showing it, and we really should have the interactive zone markers on. Truthfully, yeah, look very closely at the detailing as well. How well the uh, everything meets, which is fantastic, as well as the undulations on said thing. But it's nice. Yeah, they, a lot of very nice detailing, including that. Is quite remarkable. Right, let's jump out. Right, and so let's have a quick look. Is uh, I think we're at the the limit of our land. I am. I will obviously be doing a proper 101. Ah, that that is actually our. Oh, so we're on the edge of our land. Okay, fantastic. I love the sheds as well. Now these are my style of sheds where you. Yes, they've got. Of course, they have got things, but there's a lot of space in between them. I like that. I prefer them without posts, as in like where you can't not have posts on a shed. But yeah, I, I, that's my kind of shed where the space in between is quite a lot. 
Now, is that... Uh, it hasn't got a... Oh, it's a production. Water, olive oil, sodium hydroxide, to soap, grape, grapeseed oil, water, orange, lemon, iron mango. Well, there you go. Now, that is something I didn't realise. So, we have even got a production as well. Fantastic. We got, is, this, is there a bit of room around the back? Well, there is. Oh, fantastic. I love the style of fencing as well, and the lights. Amazing. I would believe this is not ours behind where we are now. Yeah, that grove's not ours. Not that we're... Yeah, I'm... I'm oh, we have some more recycling to do. Excellent. Right, okay. Now, yeah, let's get on with the map tour. Let's not get any farming done just yet. Let's just grab that and let's do some wandering, shall we? On the map itself. Right, let's have a look, because this is me and... Ooh. We do have some unique things. What are they? Exotic orchard. Well, greenhouses. Wow, lots of greenhouses. More exotic orchards. Well, I reckon we should... Uh, should we do this the unconventional way? Should we actually pop to these places? Ah, that's where we started... Agre, Agre, Agres, I'm not sure how you would pronounce it. I'm, yeah, I can't put a bit of a little time with French, but Debris Crusher. Should we do this unconventionally? Should we travel and do a little bit of walking? Is what I'm going to say. Let's, let's go down, let's go and see the Debris Crusher and the area surrounding it. Right, fantastic. It is, I, I can concur, it definitely is the Debris Crusher that we're all used to. Aha, this is where we need to, yes, bring the recycling stuff, which I have done on Rumbus. But being as we are skins and we're trying to buy some bits and bobs, I think we may well, truthfully, try to do that a little bit. Oh, wow. And we can also find some of these. Forget your collectibles. We're going to be... Oh, is that, is that one? I'm not sure. It's not got a green symbol on it. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Don't be towing anybody's car off, and it really is their car. Yeah, what have we have here? Is it up Meridian fuel tank? I would say these are the recycling ones. We shall see if they let us take them off. Straight, definitely straight away. Right, and so what else have we got? Is that viable? It is for sixty-seven. 670 oh no that's yeah there may be some features that uh, aren't quite right 671,000 yeah <laughs> do you know hmm okay interesting right let's go yeah we're going to do this we're going to do the hopping we're going to go map hopping I think you can however see just how beautiful this is so we shall be uh Got to be honest, this is this really does remind me not of the Peak District. It's completely different and alien to the Peak District, but its undulations are definitely very reminiscent of the Peak District. I'm loving the detailing on this as well. Absolutely am. Right, let's hop to the next place. So this is an exotic orchard. Oh, well, I think we're going to be investigating this definitely. Does it say? For 10,000, is that all? Oh, well, I'm not now, because I think I'm a long way away from home. Oh, I'm not that far. I think I'd buy one a little closer, truthfully. It looks like oranges. Wow, or peaches, maybe. Oh, it's more than one. Lemons. Oranges, definitely, this time. Yeah, I think they're peaches. Yeah, they're oranges, definitely. Yeah, it looks like... Ooh, now there's some... They're plums, I would say. Wow, Jam Gaming, you really have excelled yourself. This it really is an exotic garden. You're not kidding. Lots of different things. Wow, how many different fruits are there? Look like apples. Again, plums, I would say. 
I'm showing my ignorance of my, <laughs> of my fruits, but I would say so. Yeah, most of these look like plums, maybe some green gauges, definitely lemons, maybe limes as well. Wow, you're not kidding, this is exotic. Yeah, so I think we will be uh, definitely partaking of some of these, but probably a little bit closer to home. So there you have it, absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Yeah, I am almost speechless. I know what Dagwin meant when he looked at Carmston, to be honest. I can see the French dovecote, though, over in the distance. That is our house, I think. Yes, it is. We are looking towards it. It is definitely our house. So, right, let's go and do some more map hopping. That's large green. Yeah, let's go visit the greenhouses. Fantastic right collection of green houses. I think yeah we might well be doing something a little bit different well we're doing olives for a fact which that I am really looking forward to I think we'll be preparing I'm gonna to have to do my homework on YouTube actually because I'm a little ignorant I have done let's say I did do grapes one time um, and only one time so I know how to do that but I don't think I did I do no I did do it all but yeah it's, I've gone a bit rusty with only doing it one time it's not quite the same as ooh. wow wow we really do have a collection of greenhouses here yeah I think we're going to uh, maybe buy one of these banks how much yeah, let, let's no let's not look at the map let's just go and see about buying one I don't mean we're going to buy it, I mean let's have a look. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure that I can afford. So, no, that's true. Do you buy a patch? Two hundred and thirty eight thousand, but there are an awful lot. Now but do you buy the actual is that buying the ground? But you can buy the greenhouse. That's what I'm thinking. Yes, exactly. You don't have to own the land. We could buy the greenhouse. So yes, we could well be doing some of these, buy quite a few, and actually do quite a bit of greenhouses. I would like to do that. I've only only did that a little bit on um, Attingham, a tiny bit, and even that didn't feature. It was it was more of a production for bringing in money. But yeah, right. So let's have a look. What is that at the bottom? Oh, that is the town. We shall leave that till last. I think. Quinion's Market. Unia. What have oh, we got here? Products and pallets. Productions then. Sell point. Ah, sweet and sour raisins. Standard sell point. Aha! Let's let's put a bit of speed on. Oh no, wrong way. Let's make it faster, not slower. Yeah, we have yeah natural oils and soap. Aha! This is that production that we were seeing about making it into soap. So this is quite amazing. I am looking forward to having a go at this. Truly am. Let's see how close are we to anything else? Because I think there is, is this another one of the exotic orchards. Yeah, they're all exotic orchards. Now, what are you at the top? Aha. I did think I'd see some. Oh, we truly do have a market. And you know, I've got to be honest, I, I don't think I've ever seen that in any map period. I mean, I've seen little tiny things, but I've never seen a proper attempt to do a proper market. So uh, I get hats off to you, Jam Gaming. It's absolutely fantastic and a right collection of people. Some of these look awfully much like the drivers that we have on our farm. Absolutely, they do. Yeah, including Farmer Girl there. Yeah, and the lady and with the Benny hat, which I recognise definitely as one of our drivers. Yeah. Oh, oh no, you've never driven for me, but that lady in the blue did. Yeah. Wow, absolutely amazing. Bins. <laughs> Please let let's not get excited about bins now. Can't, let, let's just that's that's just like you know the height of silliness. Right, what are you? Are you more exotics? I think so. 
I think great processing we've just seen that. I'm trying to look for the slightly different symbols. Right, we didn't go to that. That's not far from ours though, this isn't. Wolf Ravines. There's Farmer Girl again. What have we here? Products and pallets. Absolute. So another sell point by the look of it then. And what have we got here? We have, what are you? It's not obvious what you do. We might have a look on the... Uh, Let's have a look actually on some more of the uh, in. The, let's have a look at the stock buying sodium hydroxide. No sell point. Olives. We have sixty thousand liters in stock. Wow, amazing! Now that I didn't see. Right, let's have a look at some of the things we have as well. Sixty tons of olives. Wow, that is fantastic. Let's have a look. What is the price of olives? We could make olive oil. Yeah, there's no way I'm selling that when I can make olive oil. Yeah, we will be making some olive oil. Now let's have a look at olive oil and see when what is the best price, the be best price, the best, well I do want to see the best price, but yeah, the best time to sell. It's got to be close to the top, hasn't it, the oils. Come on, you know what you're looking for. Let's have a look. Ah, there we go. Wow, 10,800. Oh, and it's approaching top price. So we ought to be making some olive oil, definitely, before we do anything. What is the top price? When? June. So actually, truthfully, although it is on a high already, we ought to be getting making some. It's March. So we've got till, what, yeah, a few months to actually start convert our 60 tonnes into some proper olive oil. Let's have a look at some of the prices where... Quignons, Wolf Smullers, yeah, yeah, Agres, fantastic. So we know, yeah, we've got ideas already, a, a, a teeming in my head of things to do and places to go, absolutely. So, right, amazing. And I do love the fact that even the car park's got some undulations. It is quite amazing. Mr. CDB would like this, truthfully. Right, let's have a look at... Oh, I'm just nose bumped with the farmer girl in the background. Right, let's have a quick look and see if there was anything else I missed. So we're looking for that. Oh, just make sure I've got all my icons on because I remember switching it off on the last Let's Play. Yeah, loading stations and others. That may actually make a few. Aha, you see? There we go. Vehicle shop and animal dealer. I'm going to say I thought we were a bit light on, <laughs> on the icons. Truthfully, Oh wow, detailing on that. Ganaderia Lopez, Agres Alicante. Wow. I've got to be honest, this is rather unique. It truthfully is. Oh, that very much looks to me like... No, it is not a collectible. <laughs> this would be the strangest collectible. I don't know if there are collectibles or even if there were collectibles if they are ready yet because this is obviously a sneak preview. Yes, you will not see this anywhere else because it's, yeah, uh, GM Gaming has uh, allowed me to have a sneak preview and show off the map and I've got to be honest, having... Being a massive fan of JM Gaming's, uh, on, uh, originally on um, Rizu Forest, and oh wow, well, there we are! Look at the flag, absolutely amazing. Yeah, Rizu Forest, I recognise his uniqueness. Oh, we have a, one of the green butterflies, two of the green butterflies, absolutely amazing. Oh, we have. <laughs> we'll, we'll try and steer, steer clear of the flying deer. Absolutely yes. So then. Yeah, this is true. I concur. We don't. Not yet. Definitely not. Although we will in time remedy this. Right. Okay. So then, the yeah, animal dealers. I do like that. I like this approach as well. It's it is unique. Let's go and have a look now. We've got some more icons to. Uh, yeah, we shall leave the town till last, though. We should, truthfully shall. Ah, the actual shop itself. Oh no! Oh, we've been here. We have actually. Yes. But I didn't have any uh, 
the shop icons to actually that might not be finished yet maybe not because I can't see the actual icon for buying from the shop or it did say eco though didn't it so perhaps this isn't the shop yeah we do have the gas station we do have the, the debris crusher oh please I'm going to switch that off because it is annoying me as much as it probably is yourself yeah uh, remind me where is that auto save is on is it that one I think we're going to switch that, yeah, being as we're here, to normal. Uh, yeah, there we go. And we will actually save that while we're here. But what, you just thought, oh, save, why would you do that? <laughs> this is true, <laughs> you know, sometimes. Yeah. Right, let's have a quick look again. And Yeah. Right, okay, so we're going to go to Agrares last. We didn't go there, did we? No, we didn't. Aha, we do have the shop, and here it is. It's a John Deere. Fantastic. How do we get inside? Oh, through there. Absolutely amazing. Wow, look at the detailing. Fantastic. Oh, real tools around. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, and it takes us outside when you finish. I like it. Yeah, we have a repair point as well, as you'd expect. Well, not that you always do. No, it's so good saying things like that. Generalisms. We have... Oh, I do like that torch. A bit of everything. Yeah. What is that blue over there? I can see. Let's have a quick look. We're over here. Ah, is that a water point. I do believe it is. I think it's a water tower, isn't it? No, I can't climb it. Okay, right. So we've been there, been to you. We have been to Wolf Ravines. We have, did we go to, we did go to Muleteers, been to the Exotic, Quignons we've been, been to the shop, do you know, I think we've actually done everything, did we do you, yes we did, no, we absolutely have, so we are now going into the town, now this is the bit I am going to say that um, Gem Game did actually warn me, this is not completely finished, so yes, although I've got to be honest, it looks beautiful so there may be things added that's what I'm gonna say obviously another bit of like a proper market amazing and lots of people I don't think I've ever seen so many people around anywhere plenty of products for sale and plenty of bins absolutely let's have a look at some of these buildings Ooh. Nope, they do they're just just for show, as you'd expect. As is that. Or or it's not ready yet. <laughs> it could be that as well. Right, let's go into the town, which is pretty much where we started. Before doing our darting off. Oh, I, I do love the realism of the uh, actual terrain. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, cobbles. Very, very, very realistic cobbles as well. Let's make try and make sure we don't get run over. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I am as well. <laughs> wow, that is bright. It is beautiful though. Absolutely lovely. Oh, wow. So many people as well. It's absolutely amazing. Oh, and the sounds. Oh, no. <laughs> look, look. Before you wander out onto the streets. Wow. 
stonework. Amazing. Yep, yeah, that's the back of the town. Well, Jam Gaming, mean, I've got to be honest. It's if this isn't finished, I would really love to see it when it is because it's it is beautiful. It truly is and unique. I have got to say that as is as are all your maps. If I'm honest, it is absolutely beautiful. It really is. A credit to you as your other maps are. Yeah, let's, let's have a look at these steps. Yeah, this is the side that people don't want you to see, the bin side. <laughs> and let's not let's not go peeking into Ooh no, but let's have a look at the detailing on that. That is amazing. Listen to the sounds. <laughs> oh wow! Don't get too close. That looks like tangling with that would be a, yeah, quite painful to be truthful. <laughs> so I should give it a wide berth. Wow, plenty of bicycles. Uh, do you know, this is, you can't get away from vandals at all, can you? They're everywhere. Now oh, then, be careful, don't get run over. Let's make a room for it quickly. Well, there you have it. Yeah, I'm... Uh, I'm authorised to do some runs on this map, absolutely, as a sneak preview. So I shall be actually dropping my normal Let's Plays for uh, at least yeah, the foreseeable future. And uh, I, don't, I don't mean that forever. <laughs> I just mean I'm not going to be doing that. I think I should be concentrating on this absolutely fantastic map. Now be careful, which way are you heading? You are heading towards the edge of the map. Wow, does that not look beautiful? Why is that? Yeah. Wow. It is. I, I could wander around the terrain for once, not actually doing any farming. Some flowers. I could actually. This is true. It is absolutely amazing. Let's get out of this field. Right. Yeah, I'm not going to run all the way to the farm, though, even though I could at this speed. Yeah, so there you have it. This absolutely fantastic map. Ooh, Carmen Villaruel. Absolutely, yeah. So you shall uh, watch this space because we are going to be doing some farming on this absolutely fantastic map by JM Gaming. Yeah, so hope you join me in this bit of an adventure. Yeah, I shall be uh, knocking up a an episode. Not sure the rules. Not sure of if I'm going to do a, a storyline for a change. Actually, it's a, a long time since I've done a storyline, so I'm going to let my brain think of something because we've got a lot on. We have. We've got a hundred thousand. No, we shall. Um, yeah, this is. We're just going to call this a map review per se, as we've wandered around the map. And next session, we'll actually get some work done, which is why I've left it at 0.5, so that we're not wasted. We've only wasted half an hour since yeah the beginning. So there we go. Got 100,000 in the bank. Well, there are a few things I think we might do a bit of swapping because yeah, there's. No we're going to do, well, bank loans, I always say that they're frowned upon in all of my Let's Plays, but there are a couple of interesting things. Yeah, the Estrella and the Roadrunner, in fact, and the Manitou. Yeah, I mean, the Brantler, we've already got two, so that, that'd be greedy to go, like, more than that, I would say. And also, yeah, so that's... 150... 180... 190,000. Let's have a look at our things. I, I'm thinking of sacrificing the wheel loader which is worth or is it be worth a little bit more than that so a li little bit light so is there anything else I don't really want to uh, if we're gonna get rid of that for uh, how much for the skid steer twenty seven thousand dollars <laughs> Let, let's let's change that let's put this on what it should be which I believe you're gonna find it's not in this menu it's in this one yeah that's true right yeah anyway I'm, I am getting sidetracked aren't I I'm literally yeah, dragging you through 
on the next session so we should do that and we should have a chat about where we go in direction yeah absolutely next session so yeah thank you very much for watching truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this unique journey and i'm going to say goodbye <laughs>